Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I've got for you Immersive Engineering Power Tutorial. Alright, now I've noticed that a lot of people have actually struggled making power within this mod, so I kind of figured I should show you how kind of the basics of some of the powering works in it, so let's just kind of get into it. I don't want it to be too long, I'm just going to kind of make it short and not a full tutorial. Anyway, first thing you're going to want to make, an engineer's hammer. This is how you make an engineer's hammer, it's just two sticks, two iron ingots, and a piece of string. You then get your engineer's hammer. Pretty cool, right? This is a very important tool, so don't lose it. Next, what you're going to want to make is an LV wire connector. These are also extremely important, probably one of the most, probably one of the most important things for making uh, connections, if not the. So it's just two pieces of terracotta on each side followed by three copper ingots in the middle, so four terracotta, three copper ingots. If you're using ore dictionary, uh, any copper ing ingot really goes, but then you get these. So then you're going to win and make an LV capacitor, which is this bad boy. Ooh, this is like your battery pack here. So what you're gonna wanna do for that is some treated wood planks, and then you're gonna wanna make some redstone, or gather it up, some copper, some lead, and some iron. So two copper, two treated wood, one redstone, one lead, three iron. And then you get yourself your LV capacitor. Next is your kinetic dynamo because we're making wind power today. So kinetic energy, yay. So what you're gonna wanna do for this is you're gonna wanna take three iron ingots, two redstone, and a copper coil block. Now what in the name of hell is a copper coil block? Boom, that's how you make one. So I, I, it, it, I mean, it should say, it should say the copper block, but uh, sh so it's just these LV wire coils right here. And actually, if I look this up, I can just show you. So LV wire coil. This is how you make an LV wire coil. It's these copper wires, which is just with the shears and copper plates. You get these, and then you just put it around a treated stick, and you get the wire coil. Sorry about that. So then you get this bad boy right here. And then you get yourself the kinetic generator with it. You don't actually need this. This was just to show. So then you want to make the windmill. The windmill is crafted using windmill blades and a single iron ingot in the middle. Now, how do you make these windmill blades? Boom. Windmill blades. It's treated wood and treated sticks. That's the recipe. You take it out of there, flip it over here, you take it from here you get yourself a windmill fantastic you've pretty much just done most of what we needed so actually uh we don't want rain so now i've already got a post set up here you can see this is what we're going to be doing that is that's it for power so this is what we're going to be doing here so we got a long post up here it doesn't need to be this tall it doesn't need to be this material so what you're going to want to do is you're going to place a block here. I'm actually going to grab just uh, some pillaring block here. So say this is you. You have pillared up here. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your kinetic dynamo. And you're going to want to place it down like that. Cool. So now you're going to want to come out back here. And if you want to go simple, you can go very simple. And you can just put your LV capacitor right here. And then, whoa, you've pretty much done half the work. So now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to put the LV wire connectors up here because this is low voltage wire connectors here. And then you're actually going to want to take one of the um, LV wire coils, which I didn't grab because I forgot it down there, so I'm just going to spawn it in. So you're going to want to take an LV wire coil here, and then you're going to connect them. This will provide the least amount of loss. So then now that you have that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pop over to here and you're going to want to place your windmill and then you're just going to destroy your little pillaring blocks here and then as you can see IF or RF depending on if you're using different mod packs is loading in there now that's pretty cool right it is it's amazing so now you're probably wondering well how do I get it to different machines I got a cool Tesla coil down there I want to get it to there so what you're going to do is you're going to want to take another one of these LV wire connectors good thing you have four of these and you're going to want to put it on this side, but before you do that, you're going to want to hit it with an engineer's hammer because this is put output. This is just output. So 
you want to put it on output. You want to put it on there. Grab your LV wire coil. You're going to come down to here. You're going to place that bad boy on here. And then, boom. So then, with the flip of a switch, you will have the most beautiful Tesla coil on the planet. Well, anyway, I can't step near that thing, but that's it for power today. Hope you all enjoyed. Um, hopefully this helped you out quite a bit. You don't need those stone blocks. Or just, uh, just replicate that one up here. Uh, it's on something when I told you that. But thank you all so much for watching. This is just a little tutorial. I hope you have a fantastic time with your immersive engineering. I'll probably be back to make uh, different tutorials and more advanced stuff here. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And I will see all of you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.